When Mr. Sylvester was out driving, he'd always keep his eye out by the side of the road to see if there was anything that had been knocked down, you know, like a, a pheasant or a deer, that he could pick up, you know, for feeding the cat or perhaps if it wasn't too badly damaged for, you know, a few odd meals. Although Mrs. Sylvester had got used to this and it was her cat uh, and the cat absolutely loves fresh meat, um, she didn't really enjoy the smell in the house. It was the deer especially that um, left a lingering smell. Anyway, Mrs. Sylvester was on her way out and she happened to notice very near the house a deer by the side of the road. And um, she stopped the car a little bit further on and phoned up Mr. Sylvester and said, there's a deer by the side of the road. I don't know whether you want to go and pick it up for the, you know, see what, what it's like. Mr. Sylvester got in his car and he went down and it was exactly where Mrs. Sylvester said it would be. And it was quite a big deer, quite difficult to lift for one person, but Mr. Sylvester managed to get it in the passenger door. It took Mr. Sylvester about an hour to do the necessary butchery procedures. And by the time Mrs. Sylvester had come home, it was all done. He said to Mr. Sylvester, I've got the deer and it's all either in the freezer or in the fridge. So it's, it's all done. But what I don't understand is, why did you tell me about it if, um, you know, if you, you hate the smell of it all so much? Well, the last time that somebody told me there was a dead deer by the side of the road and wondered whether your husband would be interested, I didn't tell you because I didn't fancy the smell. And then, after three days, what happened? You went and found it, didn't you? And you brought it back in the car and did your normal butchering thing in the bath. And, well, of course, after three days dead, it did rather whiff a little bit, didn't it? And I thought, it would have been far better if I'd have told you straight away and that meat would have been much fresher. And then, this time, the dead deer being so close to the house, I thought, no... He's bound sure to find it sooner or later. It'd be much better if I tell him straight away, get it out of the way.